Ugh, prepare to feel unclean. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most disgusting video game characters. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at heroes, villains, and enemies of all kinds in video games who can only be described as grotesque. As such, be on the lookout for a few vile spoilers down the line. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> I knew. She'd miscarried. Number 10, giant Nazi zombie fetus. South Park, the stick of truth. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave it to Matt Stone and Trey Parker to combine zombies, Nazis, and aborted fetuses and then turn it into a thrilling and hilarious boss fight. With a virus spreading through South Park, the new kid and the boys find themselves up against the fierceness of Khloe Kardashian's gargantuan aborted fetus. I can't believe I just read that sentence. Anyway, in typical South Park fashion, it's all kinds of wrong and all kinds of fun. It's obscene, offensive, and super duper gross. Exactly what you'd expect from a South Park game, so what's not to love, right? Aside from the obvious. <laughs> Number nine, Bloater, The Last of Us. That don't sound good. Throughout Joel and Ellie's journey across a ruined world, we witness the worst that humanity has to offer. From those driven to horrific methods and acts of violence like the Fireflies, to despicable cannibals like David, evil is on full display here. That being said, when it comes to imposing pure fear and dread, nothing comes close to the bloaters. These hulking creatures with a tendency to tear apart anything they come across also happen to be pretty difficult to take down. Don't get too close, as they might be slow, but they sure know how to rip apart a dude's face. Just ask Joel. <laughs> Number eight, the master Fallout. I join. Die. Oh, please. What sort of plan might that be? War never changes, but its casualties and consequences only escalate with each new devastation. What was once an ordinary inhabitant of the vaults ends up being turned into a monster in the wake of nuclear Armageddon. Becoming a hybrid of flesh and machine, the master is held as a being of worship by the children of the cathedral, with a dark desire to unify the wasteland in his image. If his contorted appearance wasn't enough to unnerve you, just wait till you hear his multiple contrasting voices, and you thought super mutants were bad. You will pay for what you have done. Pay. Done. Yes. More subjects. Number seven, The Botchling, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Look. As a professional monster hunter, Geralt of Rivia has encountered a whole slew of creatures that are less than pleasant to look at. Yet, in spite of the amount of terrifying beasts he's managed to kill, the one that makes us feel the most queasy is this baby thing. Spawned from the improper burial of a stillborn child, botchlings are tiny creatures that wander the land in search of pregnant women to feed on. The White Wolf's memorable encounter with one of these things was the result of the Bloody Baron's unborn daughter. While it might be unmistakably ugly, given its heartbreaking origins, you can't help but feel sorry for it. And the price fee is my daughter. Number six, Boogerman. Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. Booger! He's here to save us all while also grossing us out at the same time. A superhero whose only powers seem to be throwing boogers at his foes, our less than polished protagonist must traverse a series of platform based levels based on entirely around toilet humor in order to defeat several equally nauseating bosses. I don't know what to tell you guys, it was the 90s. Saving the world from a dimension filled with disgusting creatures like Flyboy and Booger Meister is all well and good, but that still doesn't change the fact that Boogerman himself makes my stomach turn. I'll be back. Number five, Marguerite Baker, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. You're a son of a bitch! Oh, I can't believe it, you son of a bitch! He's not eating! He's not eating it! Trust us, you do not want a piece of her home cooking. While originally a caring and loving woman, exposure to the human bioweapon Evelyn turned Marguerite into a crazy lady, one that happens to come with some rather sickening abilities. Able to cough up insects, stretch out her limbs, and crawl around like a crazy spider, she also has a hive of bugs in the worst place possible. Yeah, that place. Ah! Aside from nearly making us throw up, she is a downright vicious boss fight, so keep your eyes peeled for all the ammo that you can find in that greenhouse. It's just the shame that there's no bleach that can wash away the image of her personal insect colony crotch. Ugh. Number four, Broodmother, 
Dragon Age Origins. No amount of training as a Grey Warden could prepare you for this. We're not sure what's more horrific about this creature, its appearance or how it was made. The conversion involved female captives who are force-fed darkspawn tissues, raped and then forced to ingest darkspawn vomit. This leads to an agonizing process that eventually turns them into cannibalistic monsters capable of producing thousands of fresh darkspawn. A terrifying beast in her own right with a very, very repulsive origin. A broodmother stands as the most gruesome example of what the Blight was capable of. But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Number three, the Spitter, Left 4 Dead 2. Get me. Ah, zombies. No matter how old the concept, video games never seem to run out of creative new variants to fill us with fear and disgust. Standing in the top tier when it comes to games that deal with the undead, the Left 4 Dead series graciously decided to give us a zombie that was not only all kinds of off-putting, but one that came armed with acid spit, capable of regurgitating bursts of stomach acid that easily melt through survivors. Not only is the spitter one to avoid at all costs, but she's pretty painful on the eyes as well. Oh, shit we got ourselves into. Number two, the great Mighty Pooh conquers Bad Fur Day. I am the great Mighty Pooh, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. What you see is what you get. During an exceedingly calamitous mission to get back his girlfriend, our favorite vulgar heavy drinking red squirrel, because there's a lot of them, ends up facing off against a literal mountain of shit. No word of this is a lie, because players actually have to go up against a sentient pile of feces who can only be bested by throwing toilet paper into his mouth. If that wasn't surreal enough, the Great Mighty Pooh also happens to be something of a baritone, who will bellow out a tune about how he's going to smother you to death with his, well, with himself. You don't seem to know it, break your in. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, all enemies, the Binding of Isaac. You gotta feel bad for Isaac. Not only does he have to escape his crazed religious mother who's hell-bent on sacrificing him to God, but his only means of escape is through a monster-infested basement. Said monsters also happen to be some of the most disturbing creatures we've ever seen in a dungeon crawler. Born from the creative and admittedly twisted mind of indie developer Edmund McMillan, there's bound to be at least a few creatures that you encounter that will have you second-guessing your choice to actually play the game, despite its brilliance. Hey man, honestly, it's no wonder Isaac cries so much. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.